Hi, welcome to A2B2 Yoga. My name is Ashley, and thank you so much for joining me on the mat today to tend to your mind, body, and soul. I have a loving evening practice for you to help let go of any stressors from the day, calm the mental chatter, and melt away tension that is being held within your body. I'm sharing some of my go-to poses that bring me a sense of ease and peace within while holding these poses allowing me to let go of stressors and tensions on the mat and step away with a calm, balanced body and mind. I hope they bring you the same. I'll meet you in a cross-leg seated position. All right, my friend, roll your shoulders up and back, creating that nice long spine from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Relax your hands wherever is comfy. And let's softly close those eyes. Begin to draw your attention to your breath, just simply noticing its natural rhythm. Breathing in and out your nose. Notice the effects of each inhalation on your body as it fills up and expands and noticing the effects of each exhalation on your body as it softens and relaxes into the ground. Just be here with your breath, following it from beginning to end. Soft smile on your face as you gently bat those beautiful eyes open. Go ahead and make your way to the back of your mat if you're not already. We're moving into our wide knees child's pose next. So bring your big toes to kiss and open your knees as wide as the mat. Take a moment to breathe in, sit up tall, finding that nice long spine once more before you exhale and walk your palms forward, melting your chest through center. Your arms extend long overhead, palms face down. Your forehead softly kisses the mat. Feel a sense of being grounded and connected to the earth where your forehead, your home of your intuition, is kissing the mat. Feeling the connection, go ahead and rock your forehead side to side. Long, slow, deep breathing in through your nose. And a long, slow, complete exhale out your nose. Next, we're going to wave our spine by waving our hands and our upper body over to the left and then over to the right. Keep your eyes closed and your attention inward as you do this. Stay connected with your breath and the movement of your spine. Find what feels good within your body. Just wave it out, massaging your hip joints, releasing any tension or tightness. Use your breath. Beautiful. Now let's soften and slowly return to center with our forehead kissing the mat. Press down through your palms and walk yourself back and rise up. Bring your knees in to kiss. Go ahead and lean forward so you can tuck all 10 toes and then release your hips back to your heels. Find your nice elongated spine. Take a moment here to stretch your toes. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and draw your interlaced fingers towards the mat as you press away to the space behind you, taking it into a mini back bend. If this is not within your practice yet, you may also take clasped opposite elbows behind your back. Take whichever variation feels best within your body. Your gaze lifts. Breathe into any areas of tightness or tension and exhale as you breathe out this area. You can stay here breathing and stretching it out or take a deep breath in 
and on the exhale begin to hinge forward at your hips or taking your clasped hands up and overhead as you lower the crown of your head to the mat and your hips will lift and your arms press away to the space in front of you towards the mat we're in a nice calming inversion breathe deeply beautiful now I want you to very slowly start to lower your hips to your heels and release the tops of your feet to the mat as you do this release your arms down and go ahead and extend them long overhead once more let's just take a moment here to feel the effects of the inversion and feel as your body starts to rebalance from the inversion on your next exhalation Press down through your palms and round forward coming into cat pose. Inhale, ripple your spine, lowering your belly, your heart shines. Go ahead and take this side to side, opening and releasing any tension within your body. Exhale, round, crown of head drops towards the mat. Let's take this one, rocking yourself from front to back. Feel it out. Breathe in, ripple through the spine, broaden across your chest, and exhale around. Now let's return to neutral spine into tabletop pose. Step your right leg forward, coming into a low lunge position. Go ahead and inch your foot forward so your knee is stacked directly over your ankle. Your back leg and your foot is in one long line. Close your eyes and feel the energetic line from your back knee to the crown of your head. Your hips melt deeper into the pose with each exhalation. Your hips square to the front of the mat. And then we'll slowly bring one palm to your thigh and then the other and press yourself up. Allow those hips to yearn towards the ground melting even deeper into the pose. And let's begin to draw your attention to the sensations within your body in this amazing pose for both your physical and emotional body. Noticing what you are feeling in this pose. Allow yourself to surrender and let go with each exhalation. On your next inhalation, Take a deep breath in of peace as you circle your arms up to the sky. Hips sink even lower, soaking up exactly what you need out of this pose. And let's slowly start to take it into a back bend as you reach your fingertips back in space. Begin to cactus your arms, pressing your elbows back in space as you ever so slowly start to lower them down and bring them to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. Heel toe your foot to the opposite side of the mat, so over to the left side, and then lower your knee down to the right. We're coming into a pigeon pose. If full pigeon doesn't meet your body where it's at, go ahead and make your way to reclining on your back and take recline pigeon with your right ankle crossing over your opposite knee. If you're here with me in full pigeon, Check in with that back leg and make sure the leg is in one long line with your foot. Your hip square to the front of the mat so you can tuck your back toes to help lift and square your hips up. Before you fold forward, take a deep breath in, filling up your lungs, opening your chest, arching your back. And on the exhale, fold forward. Go ahead and come to your forearms and bring your hands to prayer. Gently close your eyes. And notice what arises, your thoughts, emotions, feelings, or any sensations. With every inhale, expand the area of your right hip. And with every exhalation, relax and surrender. Beautiful, my friend. We'll slowly take your palms under your shoulders, tuck your back toe, and press up. Step your front foot back, coming into a downward dog. And let's pedal those feet out. Recalibrate your right hips. 
So just moving intuitively as you pedal, maybe even exaggerating it a little bit from side to side, allowing it to really get into your hips. Now let's settle into stillness and sink both heels to the mat. Your chest yearn towards your thighs. Bring feet to hip width apart. Ripple your spine coming into plank pose and slowly lower yourself down with control all the way to the mat. Your tops of feet kiss the mat. Elbows slide underneath your shoulders and lift your heart to sphinx pose. Shoulder heads draw back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is one of my favorite poses to invite calmness, feeling your heart shine and your third eye, your home of intuition shining. Just stay here with your breath. Feel the deep connection of your hips pressing into the ground. Breathe it out. Enjoy the subtle sensations of this calming pose. Release and lower your forehead to the mat. Palms come underneath your shoulders and press yourself up coming into tabletop pose. Let's go ahead and take this loving flow to the other side. Step your left leg forward coming into our low lunge position. Inch that foot forward if you need to, to stack your knee over your ankle. Glance back at your back leg to make sure your leg and your foot are in one long line. And let's close those eyes. Feel the energetic line from your back knee all the way to the crown of your head. A nice diagonal line. Your hips melt into the pose with each exhalation. Slowly bring one palm to your thigh and then the other and press yourself up. Allow those hips to yearn towards the mat once more even deeper into the pose. Now let's draw your attention to the sensations within your body in this amazing pose. An amazing pose for both your physical body and your emotional body. Just notice what you're feeling and allow yourself to surrender to it and let go. Let go with each exhalation. On your next inhalation, take a deep refreshing breath in as you circle your arms up to the sky. Allow your hips to sink even lower to the mat. Soak up exactly what you need from this pose. Stay here with your breath, within your body, within this pose. And slowly start to take it into a back bend. Begin to cactus your arms, pressing your elbows open wide to lower them down. Hands lower to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. And we'll heel till your front foot to the opposite side. So over to the right side this time. And then we'll lower your knee down to the left, coming into pigeon pose. If you took reclined pigeon on the other side, go ahead and make your way there now. If you're in full pigeon, check in with that back leg. Make sure your leg and your foot are in one long line. Your hips are square to the front of the mat, so you can tuck that back toe to help lift and square your hips up, and then release that top of the foot to the mat. And before we fold, take a deep breath in, filling up your lungs, opening your chest, arching your back. And then on your exhale, go ahead and fold forward, coming to your forearms, and hands at prayer. Gently close your eyes and settle in, noticing any thoughts, emotions, or feelings that arise. And with every inhalation, expand the area of your left hip. Feel as it expands. And then on your exhale, feel the air leaving that area and allowing your body to relax and surrender deeper into the pose. We'll slowly bring your palms back underneath your shoulders, tuck that back toe, and press up. 
We'll step your front foot back, coming into our downward dog once more. This is our last down dog, so go ahead and just take whatever feel-good moves you want here, rebalancing from our hip stretch. Work out any tension or tightness that still may be lingering. Walk your feet to the front of the mat, coming into our forward fold next. Feet beginning at hip width apart. Feel grounded and anchored into the mat through the soles of your feet. Keep a slight bend in your knees. Your upper body weighs completely heavy, letting gravity take hold of your head and of your torso. Every muscle is released. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out, letting go of anything that is no longer serving you. As you breathe and let go, imagine that those thoughts, emotions, negative stuck energy that no longer serves you is spilling out the crown of your head onto the floor. Let everything go. If you had clasped elbows, go ahead and release them and heel till your feet as wide as the mat. Keep the slight bend in your knees. And we'll slowly start to sway over to the right and then over to the left. At first, just keep the sway in your upper body, but then gradually take the sway into your hips, staying present with your body and your breath as you sway. And slowly start to settle back into center. Let's return to the practice once more of using your breath to let go of whatever no longer supports your healthy, balanced body and mind. Let it pour right out of you, melting into the ground. And release your fingertips to the mat. And let's take this into a wide leg forward fold. So heel till your feet about a leg's distance apart. Both feet will come off the mat. Once you get there, bring your toes in and your heels out. And then melt forward, your crown of head reaching to the mat. Begin your slow sway once more over to the left and then over to the right. Feel it out. Enjoy this way. Enjoy feeling your body move and being connected. Ground down in the soles of your feet as you sway. Go ahead and settle into center. Just go ahead and shake your head yes, releasing any tension or tightness in your neck, and then shake your head no. Breathe in as you lift, finding a long spine, and exhale, melt forward. Breathe in, lift, long spine, exhale, melt forward. One more time, let's breathe in, lift, long spine, exhale, fold deeper into the forward fold. Fingertips kiss the mat and let's heel toe your feet back into mat distance. And once you're there, we'll bring your heels in this time and your toes out. We'll lower your hips into our yoga squat malasana. Bring your prayer at heart center, your elbows to the inside of your knees, elbows lovingly pressing into your knees to open your hips your knees gently press back. Your heart reaches forward and up to help lengthen your low back and spine. If this doesn't meet your body, you may take one of your blocks and place it underneath your sits bones, or you can take a blanket underneath your heels. Malasana is another favorite of mine, letting your heart and your intuition shine. Breathe. To come out, take one hand in front of you and one behind and slowly lower your hips down. Bring your soles of feet to the mat in front of you, your knees bent, 
grasp behind your thighs, breathe in, and exhale, round back in your spine as you slowly lower yourself to the mat. And hug those knees into your chest. Rock side to side for a gentle low back massage. Return your soles of feet to the mat. We are coming into a supported shoulder stand next. So arms long at your side, palms face down. On your next inhale, use your ab muscles to lift your legs and your hips off of the mat. And then we'll curl your torso, bringing your knees towards your face. From there, we'll bend at your elbows and place your palms, fingertips pointing to the sky at your low back. Keep your elbows grounded, shoulder width apart, and try to prevent your elbows from splaying out. When you're comfortable, begin to lift your hips, bringing your torso more perpendicular to the mat. Keep your knees bent and soles of feet towards the sky, breathing in and out your nose, and just noticing the rejuvenating effects of this inversion. Keep your head and your neck in line with your spine, We'll lengthen the back of your neck. Keep space between your chin and your chest. To come out, slowly lower your knees back towards your face. And then release your palms to the mat using your core strength. And with control, we'll slowly roll down. And let's bring your soles of feet to the mat and in to kiss each other. And then open your knees wide. Supta Konasana, Recline Butterfly. Softly place one hand to your heart and the other to the space just below your navel. If you feel any discomfort or pain outside of a nice gentle stretch, go ahead and grab your yoga blocks and use them as props underneath your thighs. Let's get any scratches or wiggles out so you can allow yourself to settle into complete stillness. If your mind starts to wander, that's okay. Simply draw your attention back to your breath. Let's take these last few minutes here to let the nutrients of your practice settle in and get exactly what you need. Beautiful, my friend. Now let's slowly roll over to the right side. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose. And a long, slow, complete exhale out your nose. With your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward, press yourself up and come to a comfortable seated position. In our easy seat, lengthen your vertebrae we are going to end our practice today with a calming pranayama practice. It's called alternate nose breathing. Go ahead and rest your left hand in your lap and take your index finger and middle finger of your right hand together and then rest them between your eyebrows at your third eye. We're lightly using this as an anchor. We'll be using your thumb and your ring finger for the alternate nose breathing. Go ahead and close your eyes and take a breath in and out your nose. And then we'll close your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through your left nostril, slow and steady. We'll hold that breath at the top. Release your right nostril and close off your left nostril with your ring finger. Release your exhale slow and steady out the right side. Pause briefly at the bottom, and then inhale through that same side, slow and steady. Hold at the top, release that nostril, and close up the other side, and then we'll exhale slow and steady. Pause at the bottom, inhale through that same side, for a count of five, four, three, two, one, release that nostril, closing up the opposite side, and exhale, five, four, three, 
two, one, pause. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. Release your nostril and close up the other side. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. And please continue this cycle, allowing your mind to follow your inhales and your exhales until you hear my voice once more. On your next exhale, release the breath practice. Let your right palm rest in your left palm. And let's just take a moment here with your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward to feel the effects of our pranayama practice. How are you feeling? How is your mood, your energy level? Take a deep breath in of love and light, circling your arms up to the sky, gathering all that love and light, and then bring it all down to heart center. I hope you feel amazing, de-stressed and refreshed for a wonderful evening and a restful night's sleep. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the latest yoga love released each week. If you'd like to continue practicing with me, hop over to my membership site and check out my exclusive content from yoga and meditation practices to food and nutrition webinars, podcasts, and more. From my heart to yours.